book 324. Good morning, good morning. Welcome back to Morning Motivation with Matthew Daniels. And today I'm going to tell you guys about the origin of magic and the craft of the scribe. That's right. The origin of magic and the craft of the scribe. But what is Matthew Daniels talking about? Um, a long, long time ago, a father and son had taken a trip together to go and see a famous magician perform one of his world-renowned shows. As they watched the performance, the son, who was one of my ancestors no less, continuously told his father that the magic was fake and he thought hard how to explain each illusion. When the father asked him why he thought the magic was fake, the son said that all magic on planet earth was fake because magic was not real. This is not true, the father replied. Have you ever heard of Gabriel the magician? No sir, the son answered. Who is that? Well, the father said matter of factly, Gabriel the magician was the world's very first magician and his magic was indeed real. The father then went on to explain that a long, long time ago, a young man named Gabriel was out gathering firewood in the forest so that he could prepare the evening meal for his wife and child. As he did, he heard a loud crash in the distance and he cautiously walked over to investigate. To his surprise, right there, maybe 25 feet in front of him, two tall beings with wings on their backs and shining faces were engaged in a brutal fight. One of the beings wore a dark black cloak and the other being wore a white cloak. As the two supernatural beings fought fiercely, the one wearing the dark black cloak ripped one of the wings from his opponent's back and his opponent let out a shrill cry that reverberated through the trees. Then he tied up his wounded foe with a chain made of fire and he carried him and the wing off high into the clouds. Intrigued, Gabriel picked up a feather which had fallen from the torn wing and he carried it home to show his family. Reaching home, he told his family what happened and he showed them the feather as proof. They spoke about this for a while and then his wife pointed out that he forgot to bring the firewood home. The firewood, Gabriel said, feeling foolish, I still need the firewood. Just then, a light shot forth from the feather and a stack of firewood appeared. Before long, Gabriel realized that the feather gave him powers that were unimaginable and he used these powers to improve his life. He transformed his rundown home into a bigger and better house and he created from thin air new clothes and shoes for his family to wear. He also made for himself riches and treasures and he made wonderful toys for his child to play with. Not wanting to be selfish, Gable decided to travel around from village to village and use his feather of strange power to improve the lives of everyone he met. At first, the people loved him and his powers, but soon they became jealous and they tried to take his feather away by force. Gable ran home with the crowd behind him and the crazed mob broke down the door and attacked him. During the fight, the angry mob of people killed Gable's wife and wounded him severely but they could not find the feather of power. When they left, his son begged him to use the feather to bring his mother back to life, but no matter how hard he tried, he could not reverse the ill effects of death. Gabriel and his son mourned for their wife and mother, and Gabriel realized that the feather was more of a curse than a blessing, and it could not solve all of his problems. So, Gabriel placed the feather in a glass container, filled it with heavy rocks, and tossed it into the sea and watched it sink to the bottom. After this, the story of Gabriel and his feather of power spread far and wide and mankind for countless generations tried to recreate his magic power but to no avail. So instead, they resolved to create illusions and pretend they had the power of magic to both entertain and manipulate the people of the earth. Totally astounded at the story of Gabriel the magician, the son asked, Father, was the feather of power ever found again? The father smiled. I do not know for sure, he answered, but it is said that the feather was indeed found by a man, a man who was righteous and good. This man, who was a writer and scribe, transformed the feather into a pen and he used that feather to write down thousands upon thousands of stories. That special pen, it is said, has been passed down from writer to writer ever since. And these special writers with possession of the special pen are known today as the craft of the scribe. And they are the most prolific writers on planet earth. And their writings are indeed magic. And so the morning motivation of today is the origin of magic and the craft of the scribe. Today, I want you to understand that you cannot fix every problem that you may face in life. Some things that happen to you are things that you simply must endure. 
Even if you possess the power of magic itself, there are limitations to what that power can do. So, as you go about your life, do not become crazy if there is a broken thing you cannot fix. Understand that you are strong enough to endure it and always strive to do that which is good. And remember, you are awesome, you are amazing, you are wonderful, and you are great. And you are going to change the world. I just hope I'm still alive to see it, family. I'm out. Good morning. To order books in the Morning Motivation with Matthew Daniels book series, search Morning Motivation with Matthew Daniels on Amazon.com or visit www.dandyandbighearn.com.